So here are my sunflowers. <clears throat> this one looks like it has a double head on it, which is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> wonder if it'll actually grow, bloom out like that. There's that. Those. That. That one, and way up there. I can't see anywhere in there yet. Got one up, way up there. And I got one open. This is the first one that opened. And there's another one that I noticed. It's like hidden. <laughs> way back there. Which is still really pretty too. <clears throat> and then way up there. I can't even see it. That one kind of looks like it has a double head on it too. And there's going to be one right here. And that one is, I'm reaching as tall as I can and I still can't reach up there. <laughs> so then there's that one. So these are, I'm five five and I'm reaching as tall as I can and I still can't reach the top. So this has got to be at least six and a half, maybe seven foot tall. Cool. <laughs> they're really big, but I mean, their their flowers aren't that big. But you know, they're still really pretty. This is a evening sun blend, I think. I think that's the name of it. <clears throat> so yeah, those are my sunflowers. And over here is my raised bed garden. I have, sorry, the car's going by. Um, <clears throat> I have about 16 plants in here, and they're all making about, well, I don't know how many exactly ears of corn I'm gonna have, but I see quite a few in there. And this is my tomato plant that the wind blew over. We've got it kind of um, kind of leaning up against uh, this old, this other tomato cage. So it's not dragging on the ground like it was. This is my squash. It's in a pot, so it's not getting as big as it probably should, but it still is making a little squash there. But if this was in the ground, it probably would have been ten times as big, I think. <laughs> okay, maybe not ten times, but pretty big. And you can see my tomato plants are making... I have tomatoes all over them right now. Just waiting for them to ripen up. There's more in there. And I'm not going to dig it up, but I'm pretty sure there's a whole lot under that, too. Uh, when it, when the wind blew it over, it was, <laughs> I could see a whole lot more, and it's just buried in here now, and under my tomato plant is my beans, which, if I dig for them, I'm sure has, yep, I have more green beans growing in here, yeah, just gotta wait for them to get get pretty big. They're supposed to be about six to seven inches, so these might be close to being ready to pick. Then over here is some more. You can see where the corn is. Let's see, Each one of these is a cob, if you don't already know. It's going to be an ear of corn. <clears throat> and these are pretty big. Um, I mean, it, this isn't too deep, but the raised bed does make it a lot taller. And this is, this was my biggest plant here, and I checked it, and it wasn't ready. So I've closed it back up, just to, I just took a little peek in it just to see if they're ready, because they feel really, this one feels really rounded out, 
Same with this one. And this is dry. That's a good indication it's almost ready. So this is my first time growing this myself. I mean, my parents have had gardens, but I've never done it all by myself. So a lot of guesswork here. I'm hoping I'm doing it right. <laughs> uh, I've got some strawberry plants that bugs keep getting a hold of, as you can see. This was a tomato plant. I planted it at the same time as that one over there, so that should have been a lot bigger. But being in a small pot, it just stunted it. <laughs> and let's see, do I have any strawberries in here? I have a little tiny one right there. And this has made a good basket full for me already, but I've, it's, it's, I think it's already done growing for, for now. And then of course, this is my cucumber, but being in this little pot, it probably needed a whole lot more space too. I mean, it said it was pot friendly, but doesn't, I think it would have done a lot better just putting it in the garden bed. Me, for me personally, it would have, because that was, uh, that was really small and I had to add more plant food steaks to it to get it growing, just to that. <clears throat> so yeah, this is my little garden. I started it at the beginning of March and is now the first week of June. We're in summertime, so it really grew pretty quick in a couple months time just for you know just for fun all right and I think that's everything okay also I have these plants here uh, these were beans and they were doing really good and when that wind blew it just blew all the leaves off of this plant so, the beans are still there. <laughs> they didn't go anywhere. See, this is pretty big. But all the leaves blew off. And I'm not sure what happened. If it was the wind or the birds or what, but uh, it blew off the... There was a bean in this one, too, and all the leaves fell off. I believe this is a bell pepper plant. I think one of my seeds got in with the beans because it's not, a, it's not a bean plant. I'm thinking it's a bell pepper. It got mixed in. So, yeah, it's growing something else. <laughs> uh, these were potatoes. I got one, two, the two blue bags I already dug through and got all the potatoes out. There's still, still this purple bag and this other Walmart bag. I haven't uh, opened them up yet because I just, I want to give them more time to get bigger because those two bags were really small. And I planted them all at the same time, so I'm just giving them more time. But they've been dying off, and this heat has pretty much just killed them, even though I've been watering them. And just the bugs and everything, too. So I've been using natural uh, insecticide, so I can, you know, so use it out here without killing bees and everything else but yeah thanks for watching you guys this has been my little garden hopefully my flowers bloom more throughout the summer and uh, I'll make another update video as soon as I can bye